It's not a common sight here in Cambodia. Prime Minister Hun Sen out greeting his supporters. Public appearances and speeches are rarities, but after a few difficult weeks in his country, he was out on Tuesday getting FaceTime. Even as the ruling party puts on a show for the 35th anniversary of its Victory Day, some members are questioning their loyalty. That's because of how they've been handling this growing opposition and also its crackdown on striking workers. Sus Samal is a ruling party official in a small farming community. His son Kim Palib was shot dead by security forces while protesting last Friday. Kim worked in a garment factory for nine years. <laughs> Since Hyun Sen gave the order for the military to use violence on protesters, I'm very disappointed. The grieving father was a member of the Cambodia People's Party at the beginning in 1979. He says it's going to be difficult for him to continue his support if the government does not change the minimum wage and stop the violence. But there's another issue that's deepening the line between the ruling party and the opposition, a growing generational divide. For the older generation who survived from war, what they have now, comparing to zero, is always better. So everything is better than zero. It, it, nothing can be compared to zero. And because of that, all they wanted to have was their life. But for us, as younger generation, we need more than that. We need life, but life that we can smile, we can be happy, we can be proud. To those who have followed Cambodia's development since its civil war, this divide is much more than politics. It can determine the country's future. We are really at the crossroad right now, uh, whether we are moving for a, a modern society where a democratic system will function, uh, where are all going back to the uh, uh, dark days of uh, a communist uh, area. There are many challenges ahead that will determine just which system will prevail and which one the two-month-old daughter of a slain garment factory worker will live under. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.